And in my bio, I wrote that my father was a police officer, my brother was a police officer, and I was studying criminal justice in St. John's University, and I was well on the path to becoming a police officer as well. The training itself right now was focused on the chiefs, so they can take it back. We're recording it so they could take it back to their officers. Um, it helps them with the learning outcome of communications. I think the most important part of, uh, of police work is always learning and always getting educated on everything. And one of the components that we don't really um, give as much instruction as we should is when it comes to the courtroom testimony. I think you learn as you go, as, as you make mistakes. We really, should, we really should be continually reminding officers and showing them what to say in court and how to present themselves and what to do in a deposition. And those are important things. You know, we focus on other law enforcement aspects, but this is a really big aspect of law enforcement that we need to focus a little bit more on. Obviously, uh, most of us went to the police academy here and, and we have received our additional training here over the years. Miami-Dade College is a, a, a standout in South Florida and has always partnered with uh, the local police departments in providing not only the best education for us, but also providing a, a, a great venue for us to use. It's a really great career. It's, it's an awesome career because you grow. You don't have to just be a patrol person. You could be a patrol person. You could be a detective. You could be a, see a you know, crime scene. You could be a homicide detective, if you like domestic violence, you could be doing domestic violence, so it's, it's, a, it's a career that you could adapt to and change and, and you know, it's never boring. I'm sure that, the same, that you're not having the same day every day and it's really something I encourage, you know, youth to look into. It, it's an awesome career and you're helping the community so you feel like you're giving back every single day and that's what I like about police work. I, I know our profession is challenged right now, however, it's a great and very noble profession. And uh, I would encourage people to look into their hearts and understand that it's an opportunity to serve a community and to help shape our community. I decided I don't want to be a police officer. I want to be a prosecutor. I want to put them in jail, and I put them in jail for a long, long time. And that's why I told my dad, sorry, dad, if you don't mind. <laughs> I don't want to be a police officer anymore. I want to help the police officers and I want to help them put them in jail.